a society need to rethink our criminal justice system in innovative, disruptive ways. You see, many of you may be deluded by this myth that has been perpetuated by an industry that has a vested interest in incarcerating humanity and warehousing human beings, but instead opening the mind so that we recognize regardless of what bad decisions an individual has made, that individual can become successful and be a contributing member of your team. I don't have to be doing this. I have a full-time career. It's very public, but I'm incredibly passionate and I will never be truly free until every person who's living in struggle recognizes that they have the power within to transform that struggle and become successful. Uh, he is a living example of someone who, uh, who has definitely committed himself uh, to hard work, uh, committed himself to uh, improving the quality of life, not just for himself, but for everyone else in the community. And by being this living proof, uh, he's evidence. I hope to use Wong as a case study of what we can build, the best we think about the best possible outcome. I want to show we can spread this across the nation and it, it just takes courage, it takes a leader. I use a program, I, I use that analogy in, in my course about, it's not about what I do, it's about the people who support it and allow it to spread, because it can't spread without them. I, there's no way I could have reached the, all the people I've reached in Guam if, if the US Attorney and her, and her staff um, helped me. And we work for several months to make this happen, and it's really a, a fulfillment of a dream for, for, for me that began 30 years ago when I was starting my prison sentence.